Pride, Annals of English Learners. Exists a company that provides that service. Okay, so, when in English you want to say that something exists, you use the phrase, there is, for one thing, and there are, for many things. This is similar to the Italian, ci è, ci sono. So, in English you will say, there is a man at the door, or, uh, for example, there are many people in Africa. So, in Spanish, you don't say that. You don't say there. You use the verb, uh, you use the verb, I. So you say, uh, for example, you will say, hay un hombre en la casa, there's a man in the house, or, uh, hay mucha gente en el cine, there's a lot of people, uh, mm, there are a lot of people in the theater. So, people is a tricky one. Can be singular or plural in English, but let's imagine it's plural for this, uh, for the purposes of this example. So, what happens? Uh, Spanish speakers have a hard time wrapping their head around the fact that they have to use uh, there and the verb to be there followed by the verb to be to express that something exists. So they know, of course, they can't say it like they say in Spanish, like they say it in Spanish. But in Spanish, we also have the verb existir, which means to exist. And they know that the verb exist exists in English, or they think it does, and rightly so because it does. So what they so they end up saying things like, for example, instead of there is a company that sells uh, bicycles, they say exists a company that sells bicycles. Or of course they, they can also say exist a company that sells bicycles, but that's another problem which is uh, not putting the uh, S suffix on the third person singular in the present. So, the thing about it is, of course, in English, uh, you would say there is a company that sells bicycles. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding because you need there to express existence in English. And the proof of this is that you can even say when exists means when exists means there is. You can even use there with exist. For example, let's say that somebody's speaking very formally, there's some kind of scientist. So they might say instead of there is in Mars uh, an outer layer in the atmosphere that blah blah blah, they can say there exists in Mars an outer layer in the atmosphere that blah blah blah. So the proof, the, the fact is that in English you need to say there is, there are to express that something exists. It's kind of categorical. So, that's another episode of, uh, and uh, it's quite similar to Italian, if you think about it. Ci è, ci sono. So for those of you who know Italian, that's maybe a pathway into better understanding there is, there are. Alright, that's it for Annals of English Learners for today. Catch you guys later.